everyone, Cinnamon here. Um, today we're going to be talking about your Squarespace blog sidebar and how to get that set up and why I think it's so important. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the back end of my own website. We're on cinnamonwolf.co. You can see um, my menu items over here. This is just the home page of my website. Um, and just as a caveat, I am using the Bedford template, <clears throat> which does have a sidebar option. Um, I believe it's automatic. I don't think I had to turn it on or anything like that. Um, I've accessed my blog, so you can see here, sorry, I kind of went too fast there. I clicked on pages, and then I clicked on my actual blog itself, um, and then you can see my blog page comes up. Um, and I already have a sidebar set up, um, but if you did not have a sidebar set up, then this uh, space over here would just be empty. Um, if you're working on a template that does not have a sidebar, um, automatically like listed you might just need to go to the style editor to turn it on um, and let me show you where that is so if you go to design style editor and if you go down here at some point in your style editor it should say uh, blog like as a section um, let's see yeah, so here, this just has a sidebar section. It's different for every template. Um, but on this one, if I were to click hide, it would just go away, and then I would obviously unclick that to show it. Um, sometimes it will say um, uh, right, left, or full width, um, which is not, uh, it doesn't, it's not like apparent that it's trying to say full width means no sidebar. Um, so just caveat that, you know, depending on, on what you're looking for in the style editor. Um, I do have in this list of, um, in this blog post that you should be seeing this video in, a list of all the templates, and this is current as of um, June 2017. These are all the templates currently that offer a sidebar option. Um, so, you know, not all of Squarespace uh, templates um, offer a sidebar. Um, Pacific is a very popular template that does not offer a sidebar, which is really sad because it's a great template. Um, and so just wanted to caveat that as well. If you're using a template that's not on this list, um, a sidebar may not be an option for you. You can get one custom coded for you, um, but that's a little bit more difficult. Um, and that's not the subject of this video um, today. So um, how do we edit a sidebar? So first, once you have your sidebar um, pulled up and you see that there's a space to actually um, you know, edit the sidebar, um, I'm not sure why this is taking so long, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> here we go. Okay, so once you have this, this section right here where it says to actually edit the sidebar, um, all you have to do is click edit and the sidebar um, will become editable. Now this works just like a page. Um, so you have insert points that will pull up and then when you click on the insert points it will pull up all the same options that would pull up um, as if you were editing a page. So all the same options are there. There's nothing that's different. Um, so you can build a sidebar basically like you would build a page on your website. Um, so let me take you through. I have a couple things I'm actually going to update in my sidebar, so I'll show you those. So you can see here this is a text block, this is a line block, this is an image block, line block again, a text block, this is text that, that is a link to my archives page. This is a social media, social links block, search block. Um, also a link to my blog love insight. Um, this is just a heading for popular post. This is a um, summary block. So you can see right here that I'm. this is pulling from my blog. I don't have any specific header text. It's a two to three standard vertical view, one items per row, small size text. And I believe I don't have it filtering anything, so it's just pulling in all of the most recent posts. So that's a summary block. This is just a category text block. These are my category buttons. So each one of these buttons is just a photo that links to my category page. Um, there's the link right there. Cool. This is uh, from ConvertKit, and this is my podcast appearances, which I'm actually going to be adding um, a new one in here. So I was just recently featured on another podcast. So these are just image blocks added on top of each other. So I'm going to add another image block. 
And then I have this image already ready to go over here on my desktop, so I'm just going to drag that in. That will add into the image block. And then I'm going to name this Podcast Appearance on Process to Profitability Podcast by just put that. Okay, and then I'm actually going to copy that, put it here in the file name. Under design, I'm going to clip, click do not caption, because I never like anything to display right there. And I'm going to link this photo right here to the actual podcast episode itself, uh, which I have right here. So this is the blog post that's associated with the podcast episode. I'm going to copy this URL. I have a band-aid on my finger, which is making right-clicking very difficult. Copy. And then right here, I'm going to, come on. <laughs> Band-aids make it hard. I don't know why it's not letting me right-click. We'll just Command-V. Okay. And then we're going to open in a new window. Click Apply. So now this image is actually clickable. So I have those are my podcast appearances. This is my Instagram feed. This is an Instagram block. This is also an image. And then this is also something I'm going to change. So this is a summary block. Sorry about my dog. Um, but I originally had these as squares, but I'm going to change these to uh, two to three vertical layout. There we go. That looks better and everything else will stay the same. So if I wanted to add more things down here, I could just continue adding images or text or whatever I needed to um, to, to make the summary or to make the sidebar even longer. Um, and the reason that I like sidebars so much is because it gives people, blog readers and visitors, so many more places to go on your website um, very quickly. You know, they, they don't have to go back up here and, and click around. Um, if they want to see more posts, they can easily, you know, scroll through here to very easily see recent posts. Um, they can go to your archive page to see more posts. They can go to your category pages to see more posts. They can go see what podcast episodes you've been on. You know, they can go check out your Instagram. Like, there's just so many things that people might want to see more of. Um, and if you don't have a sidebar and you just have, you know, your blog post, then, you know, people have to just scroll, you know, down to go find more blog posts, or they're going to have to, you know, I don't even know what they would do. Like, it's very difficult. And this is one of the one of my biggest pet peeves, whenever I go to a blog, and there's no sidebar option and no like, way to get to older posts, because if I'm reading something, and it's really good content, I might want to see more content. Um, and if I can't get to that easily, then I'm just going to click away. Um, so give people an easy way to get to more content on your site. You can easily do that through an archive or through summary blocks. I include summary blocks at the bottom of every single one of my posts to give people a way to click um, to other content that's on your website. So the sidebar option is a fantastic way to encourage people to stay on your site uh, much longer than they would if they had to go search for all the information on their own. So uh, that's it for the sidebar. If you have any questions at all, absolutely feel free to shoot me an email at hello at cinnamonwolf.co and I hope you have a great rest of your day.